ladies and gentlemen, welcome to NSW 205 Live. My name is Dave Easton, bringing you the most exciting hour on Twitch TV. Of course, it is the Cruiserweights from NSW. Orlando, Florida has been raring to go all day, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a pack show coming up your way in the next hour. And let's get straight into the action. Ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the ring first, he is TJ Perkins. TJ with a big chance tonight really to put his claim forward to getting a shot against Akira Tozawa in that grand championship. Of course this is a non-title matchup to start with here on 205 Live. And of course you may be wondering where my broadcast colleague Tim Price is of course. He sent a tweet out today saying I refuse to show up. Well, Rey Mysterio is employed on 205 Live, so it looks like I'm either looking for a new commentator or I'm doing this by myself. The ultra-reliable Tim Price there, of course. And his opponent, he is the Grand Champion, Akira Tazawa. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, we ask that you get your bets in, of course, if you... Ha to make sure that you win the point you want to be top of them points by the end of the month of course Kira Desire who defeated Antonio Wilson last week on the first episode of 205 Live of course since the rebranding is now your grand champion and as always we like you to get on social media and tell everybody where we are for 205 Live and well Tazawa ready to go here tonight non-title action of course ladies and gentlemen as I said and here we go big match John is your official he officially gets us underway as of course no Tim as I said no Tim Price here but of course we have got the cruiserweight here tonight so many great matches coming up tonight including the number one contendership match for the uh, Cruiserweight title, Neville against Mark Andrews, which is off the charts. And now, what about that huge main event? Alistair Black's debut. He's going to team up with Brian Kendrick, the Brian Kendrick, against Lewis Bourne. And also debuting Rey Mysterio here tonight. Off the ropes, yeah. Um, oh, went for the hip toss and a nice reversal by the Grand Champion. Many people are saying that uh, TJ Perkins really just has not found any form so far. Many people expect him to be looking for the titles. He's got nowhere really near that so far. But oh, what a punch that was right in the kisser. And now. Oh, sunset. Flip into the cover. Come on, big match done. Pay attention. Nowhere near the, the action. And oh, two and a bit. My goodness. That was so close. Well, that is true. People saying that Tim is scared to show because Bray, of course, did break his arm in 10 places in his only match, of course, he ever had. TJP is taking this to Akira Tozawa early on. You have to say that TJ looking really sharp here tonight. And the same as I say, that to Kira Tazawa comes back with a nice kick after a complete miss. Up to the top. Kira Tazawa, what are you thinking of here? Oh, Nurikin Runner off the top. And the Grand Champion back in control here. TJP in trouble with nice big vertical suplex by our Grand Champion. Only the second Grand Champion of course as we're seeing. Oh look out he's got him hooked and there's the suplex. Is that enough for the win? No it's just a two. Very close. Would it say it's an upset? Well you'd have to say the Kiratazawa sorry is completely 
on a crest of a wave at the moment, but TJ can pull the upsets. He can pull the wins out if he puts his mind to it. But Tazawa again, nice float over and the nice neck breaker. Center of the ring. And the nice back suplex by Akira Tazawa. What, what what do you guys make of course like Alistair Black the man that was attacking people backstage now going to be in his official first official match as Tozawa looking to suplex TJP right out of his boots but Perkins coming back and again Tozawa they're just too quick for TJP there's another back suit. I mean, goes how many suplexes have been hit in this contest? Now look out! Oh, belly the belly overhead suplex. You could say that this guy's applying to be mayor of Suplex City. My goodness. TJ though still battling, but it may not be battling for much longer. Oh, Bram Buster connects. And Tazawa now just waiting for TJ to get up here. Has him hooked. Suplex to the back of the head. And a three count. And Akira Tazawa picks up the win here tonight on 205 Live. And that's ladies and gentlemen the winner of this contest he is the grand champion akira tazawa and tazawa picks up the win ladies and gentlemen here tonight on 205 live and tjp looking a bit crestfallen here oh well that's, that's you nice know, to see sportsmanship there of course Kira Tazawa not taking his eyes off TJ Perkins. But it's a win nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, for the Grand Champion here on 205 Live. And let's see that again. Just, just a, a complete action replay there, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, Kira Tazawa was just making sure. Uh, and TJP is showing that act there of sportsmanship. It's so good, we'll show you twice. Oh, how, how nice. Maybe we can go to something else now. Please don't show it a third time. <laughs> ah, there we go. Let's go on to something else. Ah, backstage with uh, Tom and uh, Neville. Neville, tonight you face Mark Andrews in a number one contendership match to get a shot at Tony Nese and the Cruiserweight title at the Rumble. I'll try and do a Geordie accent. I'm not very good at them. Let's get one thing straight here, Tom. And that is not the number one contendership match. This is a warm-up match for me. And get me ready to end. The fairy tale that is Tony Nice at the Rumble. Oh, sure. He has had his five minutes of fame. But it will come da crashing down at the rumble when I take back my title. And take my rightful place back at the top of 205 Live. Like I should be as the king of the cruiserweights. Nice may have got lucky, but his ruck luck will run out at the rumble. Neville in a determined mood here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. As we're getting, going to get ready for our next contest. Ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the ring, going to come be by Tom Fowl, the Roman General, and of course, the Chef Morgan. He is one half of the Cruiserweight Tag Team Champions, Gabriel Kidd. Uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, these two Still Cruiserweight Champions after last week. Now Gabriel Kidd will go one-on-one -on -one with Jack Dyer here tonight. 
on 205 Live. This rivalry is so far from over. What a resurgence you have to see since they got uh, Chef Morgan on board. Our Cruiserweight Tag Team Champions in the house. And here come the former champs. Ladies and gentlemen, being accompanied by Christian Storm and Daniel Davis, he is Jack Dyer! The former tag team champions who were unsuccessful last week on 205 Live, looking now to see if they can get a little bit of revenge in singles competition. And of course, how will the outside pl people play into this? Of course, Daniel Davis and Christian Storm on one side. You've got the Roman General Tom Fell and Chef Morgan on the other. And you know this is going to be quite a battle between these two. Question to do I do you think I under do you think that Neville underestimates Mark Andrews? You can't underestimate anyone on 205 Live, especially when someone is getting that opportunity, of course. Many people will think Neville has that in, a chance to go to the Rumble, but he has to be careful because Mark Andrews has not had that opportunity to before. And that match is coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, so you do not want to miss that here on 205 Live this evening. Nice elbow drop by Jack Dyer. See, Dyer and Christian Storm, one of the premier tag teams here in 205 Live, the former champs, of course, as uh, Gabriel Kidd. Uh, to me, Gabriel Kidd and Tom Fowler have come on so well in the, since the beginning of this season. That rise has been really... Many people have said it's down to, of course, the cream of Morgan, of course, the cream of the soup of Morgan, obviously. But, uh, of course, you've got to be thinking that just the way they went around about business since uh, that time has been pretty amazing to be honest kid now oh right into the midsection now where's he going surely that's too far oh oh my goodness looked like he landed very badly and uh gabriel kid in a bit of trouble he has two or five will continue we'll be back after these short commercial breaks Ladies and gentlemen, remember that NSW comes your way five times a week. Raw on a Monday, Smackdown on a Tuesday, main event on a Wednesday, 205 Live is here on a Thursday night, of course, and NXT is back. Uh, it's going to be Sunday this week, not Saturday. Please join us then. Not Stop Wrestling UK, if you miss any of the shows, NSW underscore Fed for Twitter, and NSS underscore One if you want to join us on Twitch. And Jack Dyer now as we're back here on 205 Live. Look at this nice shot in the midsection and a DDT. What a lovely combination. Dyer now sends Gable Kid in the corner. What would it mean for a, a, one half of a Dyer Stone to get the win here tonight? Oh, look at this. Oh, what is he? No way. Double underhooks. Oh my god! As Tim Price would say, Jesus! Oh my goodness, how is Gabriel Kidd even standing? Oh my goodness, future shock! DDT! And oh, wait there, Chef Morgan getting involved here. Maybe trying to offer some cream of Morgan. But uh, no, I think that's give Gabriel Kidd a little bit of a breather just at the right time. And Kidd now all of a sudden. Nope, reversal, reversal again. Oh! And Dyer caught with a belly to kid! Nobody wins off that. Nobody wins. Nice knee right into the back. And Gabriel Kidd out of nowhere. Really should have been out of this. 
Chef Morgan definitely looking excited over there. He'll be making more of that special soup you are thinking later on. If he can pull out a win here. Big chop. And a second one. Takes Kid off his feet. What a hard hit matchup this has been. Into the corner. Sternum first as well. Oh, went for the close. A nice duck by Kid, but again, not going to help. Out of the corner. Oh, oh, reversal! Foot on the rope! His foot's on the rope, referee! You're not watching! Ah, oh, it's a three! And Gabriel Kidd has stolen one! Wow! Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this contest, one half of your Cruiserweight Tag Team Champions, Gabriel Kidd. And TJP, of course, they're backstage. And Brian Kendrick? What is Brian Kendrick saying to TJP? Is Brian Kendrick trying to get in the head of TJ Perkins? Not a good night for TJP here tonight. Let's get in to the number one contendership match, ladies and gentlemen, for the Cruiserweight title. The winner will take on Tony Nese at the Royal Rumble. Making his way to the ring first, he is Mark Andrews. The Welshman is ready to go here tonight. Can the Welshman defeat the Englishman and become the number one contender for Tony Nice, the premier athlete cruiserweight title? I got a word with Mark Andrews earlier on today. He said to me, he said, this is my time. This is my chance to show that I can do it here in 205 Live and well Neville is in for not just an easy match he's not even going to be in this match well, big strong words there from the Welshman of course and here comes his opponent from Newcastle upon Tyne Neville! I tried to get a word with Neville earlier on today and he started talking to us. Couldn't understand a word he said. I just couldn't understand a word the guy was saying. But of course Neville has held that Cruiserweight title and will want to get it back off Tony Nice. Of course two fingers in the air if you're on the Neville level. Uh, which he says nobody is, but yet all the crowd still do it. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Number one contendership match. It's coming up next on 205 Live. Mark Andrews versus Neville. Big match John who completely missed the foot on the rope on the last match. Hopefully we'll see you better this one. Oh standing uh, standing shooting star? Moon up? No, shooting star. Never get them moves um completely um what they called again. Oh nice flat line, I know that one. See, when Tim's here, he tells me all the moves I get wrong. Usually a lot. Very good question. Oh, Mark Andrews! My goodness, that's a small boy sent on if I've ever seen one. wonder if the shirts would sell as good as the big boys. Hmm. That's a thing to ponder. Well, yes, that is very true, Twitcher. We we're hoping that Big Max John does have his um, contacts in for this match. I just look at this Neville with shot after shot here. Really, he'll want to wear down Mark Andrews here. We want to have some fun. And look at this now, Neville telling Andrews to get up. And drop kick connects. Missile drop kick right into the chest of the Welshman. But look at this, though, another deep arm drag. Andrews not going to really lay down to the king of the cruiserweights, as he would call himself. 
And... Oh, there's that stunner! And Andrews has the chance with no Neville back to his feet early. That may have just stopped Mark Andrews. No, but a nice running knee. And Andrews now going to the top. Can he connect? Oh, what a knee right into the chest. And that really, Neville is stunned here. Oh, look out. Stunner! Andrews has a chance here. Andrews. Oh, what are you doing? Is this a chance wasted here to put Neville away? Could back, come back to haunt him here. Oh no, Andrews over the top. And inverted DDT. Andrews now to the top. If he hits this, this could be a shock. Shoot and star press. Cover. Hook of the leg. And Mark Andrews is going to the Royal Rumble. My goodness me. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this contest, Mark Andrews. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is a shock many people would see. Because, ladies and gentlemen, it is now official. It is Tony Nice versus Mark Andrews for the Cruiserweight Championship. Who would have thought of this coming up at the Royal Rumble in now less... Uh, well, what are you looking at? Looking at uh, Seven days time? Eight days time? Nine days. Nine days. I'll get it there. 20th. That's what it is. Nine days time. Join us, of course, for that. Straight into tag team action next, ladies and gentlemen, on 205 Live. Making their way to the ring. They are kings of countouts. Noam Dar and Andrew Dehiva, of course. Since we really adopting this name, they haven't actually uh, won by countout. Hmm. Very strange. And of course, Kings of Canada will be going up against the Underground yet tonight. Andrew De Hever from Switzerland, of course. No, I'm Dar from Scotland. On the, by the way of, I want to say Iran. Could be wrong. Hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, their opponents being come to the ring by Son of Havoc. They are the team of Jack Evans and Angela Ho. They are the Underground. A very popular tag team here in 205 Live. Can the Underground make a claim? Maybe if we get this shot at um, the Roman Empire again. Here we go. Go to get your bets in, ladies and gentlemen, and also make sure you keep telling people on social media. 205 is on the air. Andrew DeHiva and Jack Evans going to start us on this one. And here we go. This match, of course, ladies and gentlemen, brought to you by uh, Jew Mountains. The only mountains with Jews in them. And up on top here now. And oh my goodness, nice rack attack, as you would say. Version 1. Jew Mountains, of course. I'd like to see someone make a wrestling fed out of that. You know who you are. Oh, nice by Andrew D. Van the Swiss superstar, of course. Himself and Noam Dar pitched together in the the tournament we had a few weeks ago for the number one contendership, which the Roman Empire actually did win. Um, but the many people are very impressed with the team of Noam Dar and Andrew De Hula. Oh, nice slam down by Angelica on oh, Noam Dar. Good question coming in. Why does the underground wear green? Um, that's a very good question. And maybe I have to go and get the scoops on that for next week. Angelico over on the top now. Over the top, uses whoops and oh, misses the storm completely. But I think managed to just bounce back very quickly from it. 
Dalgo, of course, will hold the height difference here, and there's a lovely running bulldog for his troubles. Back and forth again. No, I'm dark. Look at this big shot in the course to the big man in Jalgo. Now he has Andrew Dehiva back in again, of course, many people's. Uh, we have mixed opinions, can I say, of Andrew Dehiva. Who's on NCI Tostos this week? Well, that's funny you should say that, actually. Big Match John um, is um, actually on there. Into the cover. Just a one. flip by Angelico who really has been in this match a little while now but is still in control and I'm just trying to drag him across oh what a boot right into the stomach now going to send Angelico into the corner Dehiva though again just a little bit too slow and Delco what to do now oh, throws him to the outside watch out here watch the big man springboard drop kick taking the Swiss superstar to the outside and just a shot down and again Dehiva comes and gets caught again and yes I'd like to mention there is a count out going on here as oh Jellico again with the takedown and now into the armbar on the outside. Ah, he's going to be a traffic warden. Look at this punch, is hard by Andrew De Hever. It may be good to get back inside the ring here. Oh my goodness. A rack attack on the outside. We're up to a six here. Deep arm drag again by Angelico and, and a DDT. These two still fighting on the outside here. And now De Hiva's back inside the ring on the count of seven. And of course, De Hiva brought in the hard way. Shot to the back of the leg. And another deep arm drag. My goodness me, Dehiva. these two fighting back and forth here. Oh no, nice block and a big punch into the midsection. That will try and wind your opponent. As what in the world? Look out! Oh, onto the arm with the northern lights. Angelico here, as, as they've been in this long time, now going for the figure four, and he's got it locked in. This huge ex into the figure eight. Woo! Oh, you can hear the fans; they love it. They love it, and they love it. And is that it? No, he just gets out. Goes now duck under and oh, a kick to the hamstrings again. Now the tag in. Now Jack Evans finally gets in. And look at this, trying to pick the pieces and gets a two. Big shots to the elbows. And oh, no, nice. Took out the way by De Hiva. And here it comes! A defeat! Connects perfectly! And now, for the Swiss roll! Connects! Oh, I love myself some Swiss roll! Cover! Is that enough? No! Oh, look at this. There it is. Two fingers in the air if you're on the De Hiva level. And the clothesline. Now De Hiva's feeling it. There's a second one. Third clothesline connects. And De Hiva now. Could the Swiss superstar be feeling this here? Scoop into the tree of rule. And now look, it's just a lovely boot into the face.
Now another one. Another eat defeat. My goodness, this should be all over. He's looking for another Swiss roll, maybe. Swiss roll connects. And that, ladies and gentlemen, should be that. Cover two. And Angelico makes the save. Wow, that was close. Now, what is Dehiva do? Does Dehiva think you know, he needs a breather here? What is Dehiva thinking? He could really have a chance here. Waiting for Evan. Oh, and Evans comes back. He was waiting for him. And this could be again how the tide changes. Oh, look out. The roll. And a big German suplex on the back of De Hiva's neck. My goodness, in the drop kick as well. It just shows you how much this match can change. And now, Angelico might pick the pieces here. Up to the middle. De Hiva struggling to his feet. Went for the drop kick. De Hiva saw it coming. And De Hiva will get no I'm Dar maybe in this match. Dar turns around. No, maybe not. Look at this. With the arm ringer. And then into the knee right across the arm. And now the Scottish supernova back in. No I'm Dar. Into the cover. Looking to pick the pieces. Can he do so? No, not even a two. So close it is. Jellico fight back. What a tag team match we've had here, ladies and gentlemen. Scoop. And now, look at this. I'm trying to tie him up. Oh no! Angelico coming back. Sends him in. Oh, the drop kick right into the knee. What a contest, ladies and gentlemen. These two, two of the finest tag teams in 205 Live. Deep arm drag again by Angelico. Jack Evans, you can see, is really struggling here on the outside. Big clothesline by Noam Dot. Oh, look at, what, look at this. Could be bad. Back suplex. These two teams have really went to war here tonight. Kick into the midsection. And a big vertical suplex. Dart, no, Jellico coming back. Nice uppercut. But a kick by Dart. These two are going to one. I love the crowd are standing here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what they deserve. These two teams putting on a war. And they love it. And now, Angelico has him up. And a lovely reversal by Noam Dar. What a great reversal into the DDT. And Noam Dar may be thinking of putting this one to bed. Locks him into the ankle lock. Has it hooked in. And this could be the end. As Andrew Dehiva completely misses. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. It was just too much. And Noam Dar gets the tap out victory. Ladies and gentlemen, the winners of this contest, Noam Dar and Andrew Dehiva, the kings of countouts. But really, really, what a match between these two teams here tonight. By far one of my favourite matches on 205 Live. As Mark Andrews goes backstage and, ah, well, there's Teddy Long and, well, congratulating, of course, the new number one contender. And you've got to be thinking Mark Andrews is on top of the world at the moment. Because in nine nights he will face uh, Tony Nice for that Cruiserweight Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready for more singles action. Making their way to the ring first being accompanied by Seamus and Liam Patrick. He is Charles Uli and they are the United Irish.
Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the United Irish here, yeah, ready to go. And Charles Ole, really, this group has not had much success since they were banned from SmackDown uh, many weeks ago. If you remember SmackDown being in uh, Belfast Island, uh, Sheamus said they were going to show up. And when they got there, they were banned from the arena. Since then, it has not gone well. Could tonight be a change for the United Irish? Seamus, of course, who trained both these two men in his famous... Now, he didn't train him in the famous green uh, shirt, of course. He, that is his famous green uh, jacket and pants combo. The United Irish ready to go. Can Charles Ole pick up the win here tonight on 205 Live? Ah! I'm going to have a bit of disco dancing, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, being accompanied to the ring by Cedric Alexander. He is a rich swan! I, oh, I love it and when Tim's not here I can dance to my heart content ah just one of the most infectious themes we have here in NSW handle this can you handle this can you handle this can you handle this oh, gotta love it Rich one, one of my, uh, one of my definitely favourites here, ladies and gentlemen, on 205 Live. If there was a champion for having the best theme song, I think this guy would win and never leave go. And that is definitely saying something, ladies and gentlemen. But it's all about the wrestling here, of course. Folks, get your bets in, of course, if you haven't done so already, and let's go! Charles Ole, of course, versus um, Rich Swan, as... Look at this, maybe... Oh! Very hard landing. Of course, you'll see Cedric Alexander on the outside here. Uh, friends with Rich Swan, giving him some support, and Charles Ole, the temperish Irishman. Oh, was asking for it and got caught with the DDT. Apparently I've just had a tweet from Tim saying I have to stop dancing. Well, if he actually managed to turn up, and then I'm, he might be able to stop us. How does that sound? Oh, nice sweep of the legs by Charles. And now, look at this. Oh, no, nice reversal again and a takedown of... Um, Charles Lee by Rich Swan. And now up on top and... Oh! Phoenix Splash! Beautifully executed. My goodness. Crowd here. 205 Live has still got a big main event to come after this. Alistair Black and Brian Kendrick are going to team up against Rey Mysterio and Lewis Bourne. What a match that is going to be here in our main event tonight on 205 Live. Ah, two fingers in the air if you're on the Rich Swan level. And I am on that Rich Swan. I can definitely not handle that theme song because it's so good. One with a, just a boot right into the jaw. That's the United Irish, of course, have been... Uh, they're talking about not being very good in, in form wise, but oh my goodness, a nice sparkly witch. I'm gonna say that it's uh, not looking very good for uh, Charles Lee, but oh look at that, Liam Patrick getting involved, and that is gonna turn the tide here. And then, uh, oh no, look at that, Swan lands on his feet, very athletic. And a running power bomb. And that's a Swan Easter bomb, as Tim would say, or something rubbish like that, I don't know. 
Remember, ladies and gentlemen, to send Tim Price your messages of um, thought to his Twitter, of course, by telling him he's a stupid idiot for missing work. And then <laughs> as a nice sparkly witcher a second time. Swan now. No, look at this. Charles Lee just waiting and just nice deep arm drag again. We'll see a lot of deep arm drags from the cruiserweights, of course. A good way to counter. As talk about that counter a snap suplex. No, come on. Liam Patrick throwing a chair in the ring. Not needed here at all. Big match John, of course, should get that out of there straight away. Big sh shot right across the forehead. Oh no, swinging a miss. Swan, nope. Again, couldn't take advantage. Look, Liam Patrick up again. When is this referee going to sort this out? Yeah. And I'm sure Charles Lee was going for that chair. That's a disgrace. Crowd very... Well, crowd do not like it at all. Oh. Oh, and Charles Lee actually sitting on the chair. And it's a Leo bomb. Lee beast of bomb, I think. And now, oh, he's thinking about it. Oh, and he went for the Irish kick thing and he didn't hit it. But Swan still can't take advantage into the cover. Could that be enough? No. Big shot. Again, Charles Lee completely in control here. Oh no, nice block by Switch Swan in a nice corkscrew leg takedown. Swan, no, again, Charles Lee blocks. Swan just cannot get any offense going here. Oh no. DDT connects. Oh, that slimy snake. Ah, oh, the river dance. Yes, that's what it was. Thanks very much. Somebody in the Twitch chat reminded me it was the river dance. Oh, dear. oh nice two knees right into the floor. And there's the drop kick right to the knee. And there you can see that uh, Charles Ali really favouring that knee now. But again, the block and the forearm shot. When will Rich Swan learn? Now he comes back. One of his own. And a second. And a nice back super. Seamus and Liam Patrick all of a sudden look very worried. Rich Swan trying to get the feeling back in the shoulder, it looks like. May have give chance here for Charles O'Lee. Kick right to the back of the leg. Trying to work over that body part. It's a good strategy. But again, why does he favour that punch? Seamus looking very happy now, but no rick to the eyes by Rich Swan. What a dirty swan. And now into the cover as he got him. He's got it hooked. No, just a one. My goodness me, what matches here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. On 205 Live. And now again, Liam Patrick getting involved. Is really should stop getting involved. Looking at Liam Patrick as he keeps getting attacked every time. Now, Liam Patrick, what's he thinking? Not Liam Patrick, sorry, Charles Lee. Nothing, because he's going to get hit with a nice STO. Back again. Oh, no. Look at this. Reverse! Hurricane Rana, my goodness. Beautifully executed. Rich Swan, after taunting, now, where's he going? Up top, Swan, oh, connects beautifully, but the referee isn't looking, oh, that is just so unfortunate, just when he wanted to hit it, now a chance for Swan to pick up the win, and again, Liam Patrick, that is crazy. And now Patrick is Charles Lee in trouble as Patrick's been kicked out. 
the big 450 splash is not going to do anything because Big Match John's not knocking. The silly goose. And a frog splash to the back. My goodness me, these last two matches, oh my goodness. Has made 205 Live one of the most premier shows in all of wrestling. What a night we've had. And now again a nice takedown with a drop to a hold. Back and forth again. Oh, for the first time tonight we're going to see it. Are you ready for some vintage? Beautifully executed. And now Charles O'Lee may be thinking at the end. Kick into the midsection. The Whirly Darish. And that, ladies and gentlemen, could be the end. And it is. Charles O'Lee, not without controversy, has picked up the win here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, there he is. Charles O'Lee picks up the win here tonight. And well, you've got to say it's a huge assist from Liam Patrick. And that is why the United Irish will be celebrating tonight with a good old pint of Guinness. Other drinks are available, of course, from Ireland. Ladies and gentlemen, NXT kicks off this Sunday night and this is your main event. It will be in a ladder match. Bryce Cole versus George Shaw. The winner will go on to take over to, of course, meet Cesaro for the vacant NXT title. What will happen? Well, you'll find out on Sunday night on the return of NXT. Ladies and gentlemen, it's main event time. Making his way to the ring, he's a man with a plan. It's the Brian Kendrick. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Brian Kendrick. Who, uh, well, I some choice words for TJP uh, here tonight. Don't think TJ wants to listen to this guy. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, there are big debuts here tonight, of course, on 205 Live. I'm so happy that, of course, you can be a part of tonight's 205 Live. You have to thank our sponsors, Jew Mountain, the only mountains with Jews in them. The Brian Kendrick, of course. A man that will be looking, of course, to uh, impress... Teddy Long with a tag team match yet. Now well, it could be that it could be that um, TGP could be a part of the plan. Who knows? Oh, ladies and gentlemen, his uh, tag team partner making his debut on 205 Live, Alistair Black. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this man who attacked many superstars backstage, including Lewis Bourne. And of course, it was last week where he tried to attack him again, only for Rey Mysterio to, uh, to stop that happening. Alistair Black, the man from Holland, ready to go here tonight. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, their opponents introducing first 
He is Lewis Born. Yes, Alistair is. Well, hopefully he's under 205. He would be here. Would he? He does keep in shape. A lot of shape. Born a very, very determined athlete here on 205 Live. Could he pick up a huge win here tonight? It isn't. We will have to see. Ladies and gentlemen, his tag team partner, he is Ray Mas. Dereo. What a signing for 205 Live. This guy, really, you have to say that if it, well, the man that Tim Price never wanted to see again, but is now in 205 Live. And we are getting ready, ladies and gentlemen, for what should be an exciting main event between these two big tag teams. Mysterio are ready to go. We are ready, ladies and gentlemen. It is main event time on 205 Live. I'm ready. Are you ready, ladies and gentlemen? Can you handle this as in the last match? Big tag team main event. Here we go. We thank you, of course, wherever you are watching 205 Live tonight, and we thank you every time you do watch NSW much appreciate this wouldn't be possible without you guys as Lewis Bourne looking to get some revenge on Alistair Black and Brian Kendrick is nice in a uh, nice sparkly witch to start things of course I'm sure if Tim Price was here he would be uh, under the table crying thinking about his arm as he does most weeks but, uh, still the debut Ince not in the match yet is Lewis Bourne showing why he was one time a challenger for the Cruiserweight title. Nice shot right into the back of course. Of course some of the 205 roster will be in the Royal Rumble match itself. Remember that? The Royal Rumble match of course all four brands represented. It will be the last time you will see all four brands on the same show. That is an exclusive, ladies and gentlemen, um, as NXT will be getting their own takeover shows um, and that will count as their pay-per-views going forward. Of course, that is always subject to change, as NSW always is. As a kick by Lewis Bond. And a deep arm drag. Oh, I'm sorry, I apologise. I knew I'd got that wrong. They're at WrestleMania. What am I on about? It's next season where they get exclusive takeovers. Apologies about that, ladies and gentlemen. Just getting a bit of ahead of myself. As um, up on top here. And Alistair Black, no. Look at that, just rolls through. That is athleticism here. But a nice, a nice take down by Lewis Bourne. Well, of course, as I said, maybe it start to hire people again. As, uh, oh yes, ladies and gentlemen, uh, remember the, the Royal Rumble is coming your way. Thanks for telling us that we were going to a break, people. Uh, the 20th of August, uh, we're nine days away, of course, now. And we will be seeing who will be uh, in the main event. Could do all five. Two or five live could be the, the main event at WrestleMania. Could happen. Uh, it is going to happen, though, ladies and gentlemen. Remember the Rumble, it's on 20th of August, 2017. And, of course, we will be seeing who... Uh, we'll be seeing Tony Nice versus Mark Andrews from the uh, 205 division. We're back, ladies and gentlemen, and a big main event here, of course. He's into the corner. What's going to happen here? Alistair Black now takes 
loose bone down. Where is he going? Oh, what is he thinking about here? Oh, lovely moonsault connects. Not seeing nothing of Rey Mysterio, of course. He was in during the break, but uh, couldn't show it, of course, because Tim Price would have been angry. As uh, Brian Kendrick going for the pin here and using the ropes to leverage. He has Rey Mysterio and he gets need for his trouble. And look at this now, Alistair Black taking down Rey Mysterio. And a nice frog splash missed. He missed the storm. As Rey Mysterio dumped right outside of here, Tim would have been under the table. There's oh, Kendrick DDT! He is a man with a plan, of course, ladies and gentlemen. Nice deep arm drag again by Lewis Bourne. What's he going to think about doing here? Look out, sit out, power bomb into the pin. Looks like his foot could be under the rope. And, <laughs> and yes, ladies and gentlemen, that just happened. And yeah, not much more we can say about that, to be honest. Uh, Rey Mysterio just stopped the count by, um, yeah, by attacking, <laughs> by attacking the ref. As Tim Price would say, BOTCH! And that really could have um, cost his team here. And it oh, he's eliminated! And we've got a flying plan, Michael! Wow! Right over the top. Is that man when I hope that's a jack. Oh, it is a jack. I thought he was naked in the front row. Um, what a flying Kendrick Magel. And now Kendrick, the man with a plan. Lewis Bourne could be out. And now it could all be Kendrick's with the taking. Well, you never know with those pants, of course. Somebody asking if Kendrick's plan was to wear those pants. Very nice pants they are indeed. Loose bone are coming back. and oh, Nice reversal just as he's that shot to the knee. Kendrick. And nice back suplex by Kendrick. And again now, look at this taking Bone across. Is he going to try to use that rope for leverage? No, he's not. Two. Oh, I want to kick out of two. My goodness. And now Lewis Bone, look at the athleticism from the young man. But again, Kendrick just coming back, forearm shot. And the running knee connects! Kendrick just seconds away. DDT planting Lewis born into the mat. And now a pin, to, a, a tag even to Alistair Black, who's going to the top. This could be the beginning of the end. Black Mass Connects! Forget about it! And that, ladies and gentlemen, is three! And Alistair Black and the Brian Kendrick pick up the win here tonight! Oh my goodness, what a night, ladies and gentlemen! And the arrival of Alistair Black in NSW the Brian Kendrick the man with a plan we've got to tell you ladies and gentlemen he's got a plan all right it's a win for the new Alistair Black and the Brian Kendrick that is it ladies and gentlemen thanks so much for being a part of 205 live for another episode we much appreciate you guys being here Thank you so much and please remember to keep telling everybody about NSW. If you do see all any of our shows on YouTube, give them a like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. And of course, if you do tell people on Twitter as well, thanks very much again. We look forward to seeing you for NXT on Sunday night from Dave Easton, of course. And everyone here at NSW, thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye for now. Hey.